Hi everyone, it's me, Tim. Today I want to talk about game engines. I've had several people ask about whether I prefer making my own game engine or using one of the off-the-shelf available ones. And almost always when they ask that, they're talking about Unity or Unreal. There are other ones, they're Game Salad and a couple more, but the two biggies right now are Unity and Unreal. So to answer that question, it's a, my question is pretty much a qualified, well, but I'll, at the end, I'll give a definite like, look, for all practical purposes, there's an answer to this. But as always, I want to tell stories. You have to remember that I started back in 1981 and for about the first 20 years of my career, there was no option here. This was not a choice. You made your own engine. There was really nothing available to buy. I even remember saying in one of my videos, it was really hard in the 90s just convincing other programmers at Interplay to share code. Um, I wanted to write some code one time and then... Just share it with the other programmers. You don't have to worry about bank switching on different video cards. You don't have to worry about assembly language to get them a second timer. Here it is. And a lot of programmers wanted to do that. But there were some programmers like, nope, I only use my own code. They would literally not let anyone see their source and only give their code out as pre-compiled libraries. Whatever. To each their own. From 1981 to 2014, I only used engines that were made in-house at the company I was at with one exception, and that was Vampire Bloodlines, which we made with Valve's Source Engine that was used for Half-Life and Half-Life 2. Besides that game, every game I made, I made the engine from scratch, from nothing. That's where Fallout, oh, well, Bard's Tale and Rags and... Fallout and Arcanum and Temple and Wildstar, even South Park. South Park, we used an engine that had been made in-house at Obsidian for Dungeon Siege 3. They called it Onyx. Uh, they, it had a lot of generic components that we just used for South Park, even though that's a wildly different game. So, But since 2014, I've made two Unity games, Pillars of Eternity and Tyranny. And one Unreal game, The Outer Worlds. And now I guess The Outer Worlds 2 is being made. So I can talk about those particular engines and what I saw as the pros and cons. But I should also caveat that with, I went into both of those game engines. For Unity, I already knew C Sharp. And for Unreal, I already knew C++. Those are the two languages that you use. For Unity, it's for doing scripts from hooks from the engine. And for Unreal, you actually get the source code and it's in C++. So you can do your scripts in the visual scripting language they provide, but your programmers will be diving into the engine itself with C++. So there's that caveat there. I already knew both of those languages. So to me, Unity and Unreal were pretty level and I could compare them back to back. But let me start with saying, I'm going to say the advantages and disadvantages of using your own engine versus... Uh, using an off-the-shelf one. Note that a lot of the pros for one of these is a con for the other one, so I'm not going to repeat those. I'm only going to... I'll give the pros for them and then any cons that are unique to them that aren't just, oh, well, this other one, the pro for this one was this, so the, pro for, for, the con for this one is not this. I'm not going to do that. So let me start with your own engines. What I love about making my own engine is you can have it do exactly what you want. And what this means is you don't end up with an over-engineered system that has hooks in it for doing a lot of things you don't want, that spends cycles, you know, setting up data a certain way, even though you're not going to take advantage of it. Now, the, the off-the-shelf engines, some of them are pretty good about, you know, saying what components you want and what you don't. I mean, when you start up Unity, it's like, are you going to make a 
2D game or a 3D game, you're going to make a side scroller. I mean, I get it, but you still end up with a lot of things you don't want that just hang around eating cycles and memory. The other thing I love about making my own engine is you own the source code. Like I own Arcanum and Temple source code and you are very familiar with it. So towards the end of the game, when you are trying to optimize and debug, you know this code inside and out. And so you 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 have a leg up because you just you you literally know what this code is, how it was written, and what your intention was to do with it. Which gets me to the third thing I love about my, your own engines is you optimize it exactly where you want it to be optimized. If you know your game is going to heavily be dependent on lighting, especially dynamic lighting. You can optimize for that rather than end up with this generic lighting system that was designed to do static lighting and dynamic lighting and maybe you know no lighting whatsoever. No, you can you can optimize it for exactly what you need. Similarly, if you if you don't need uh, multiplayer, you can just you're not going to spend any time in the network code. You can just you, you won't have written that. It won't be sitting there hanging around. It won't have been brought in and then excluded later when it gets compiled out. These are all really things I love about making my own engine. Plus, just personally, it's fun. I love making an engine. It it lets you touch all the different parts of the game that you normally wouldn't touch. But there is a huge con with making your own engine, which should be obvious. You will need a lot of time, a lot of money, and a lot of people because you are literally reinventing the wheel and not just one wheel you're inventing you're reinventing a lot of wheels and i don't think you're going to do as good a job on it you may be really good at code but do you really know all the gpu pipelines do you know pixel shaders do you know network cards do you know the os um interface for networking do you know every the ins and outs of everything about the operating system you're writing for? How it allocates memory? How it handles timers and input? Do you know that for every version of the operating system you're making it for? Do you know that for the other operating systems on the other platforms you're making for? Because you will have to know all this as well as the people making the engines. You might on a few of these. You certainly won't on all of them. And you might even not know them as well as the people making the engine on any of them. So good luck with that. So let's talk about game engines. What's the advantage of buying an off the shelf engine? A, it works immediately. I can't tell you how refreshing it was when we jumped into pillars that we literally had something up and running. There was no like prototyping phase. We literally had something up and running really fast. It was really cool. and. Because there's so much stuff available for free, artwork and stuff, you can throw together a prototype in literally no time and then go, okay, let's replace all this art later. But look, we've got a world you can run around in. You've got some dude running around. You can do things. It's also very easy to find people who already know these engines. And it's getting easier every single year as Unity and Unreal basically start owning the market, it's easy to find programmers for either. Therefore, that translates into it's easy to hire people who know these engines. And that's awesome. By the way, conversely, for these people, they like that you're using this because it gets them experience in something that matters in an engine more than just at your company. If you have a game and you make your own engine for it, those programmers are getting experience in nothing but that, and it doesn't transfer to any other company. Now, you, the company, may go, this is great for re employee retention, but new hires are going to look at that and go, do I really want to get stuck here? Do I really want to go to another company and go, I have you know, 15 years experience in Engine X, which nobody uses and nobody knows how it works. So the idea that you might be making a game in Unity and Unreal for your employees, that is a really good decision too. Also, because this engine comes with support, you get support from a company that's probably much bigger than yours, certainly in terms of programming staff, with tons of special specialists in it. So you have these people who are at your 
beck and call. Effectively, you can report bugs to them and they will fix it. Um, and often, like I mentioned, these people have a lot of specialists. So this engine code will have a lot of specialty code that you may not either have been able to make in-house at all, or you have had to hire a very expensive specialist, and it would take a long time. So we're talking time and money and people in great quantities. So by having an engine just saves you on all that. However, the flip side of that is when you do need support, good luck getting it. Um, if you're a big company and you're doing a very popular, well-known game and you've met personally with people from the company making the game engine, yeah, you might be able to get to the front of the queue on some bugs, but mostly you find yourself waiting for point releases to see if that bug that you discovered that maybe your game is dependent on has been fixed. And if it hasn't, with Unity, good luck. You do not have the source code. With Unreal, okay, you can dive into the source code and spend your own time and money and resources fixing it. But then every time you get a new point release, you're going to have to fold that code. The other big problem with these is they take a cut of your revenue. Most of them have switched from you paying something up front to they get a percentage of the revenue stream from your game. Now, for smaller companies, they waive this or make it a smaller cut. But once you're making a fairly big game, expect to give some of your money to Unity or Epic because you're using their engine. That's just the way it is. If you roll your own, you don't have that. Now, here's my answer on which way I think you should go. In a perfect world where there was no budget, no schedule, no pressure, of course I would like to make my own engine. I like to roll my own. It just has all the advantages I want, none of the disadvantages. But notice that by saying with no budget and schedule on anything, I just erased all the Disadvantages that could possibly exist. We don't live in a perfect world. So unless you plan to make an engine that you reuse for decades. Or for some reason, you're in an amazing situation for every time you have a new game idea, you can make a brand new engine that's specifically designed for that. I think you just eventually need to come to the terms that you will be using Unity or Unreal or another off-the-shelf game engine at some point in your career. You're going to have to bite that bullet. Once you do, yes, there are those cons I mentioned, but now you have a much better understanding of this engine, what it can be used for, and your employees have really good skills in that engine. So I think that, I think that that, um, is it called that horse is run? That dog is out the gate? I don't know what, whatever that, phrase is, I pretty much think that the decision's been made for you. Unless it, you're in an incredibly rare circumstance that would allow you to make your own engine, I think from now on, people are going to be making games in existing game engines. And it looks like Unity pretty much owns, if it's a 2D or a mobile game, it's Unity. If it's especially a bigger game, especially an, uh, an outdoor game, it's like an open world, it's probably going to be Unreal. There are other ones out there, too, that might make more sense for a specific game you're making. But I think in this day and age, if you're thinking about making a game, it is in your best interest to look at the existing off-the-shelf games to see if there's a good match already before you go and reinvent the wheel and make your own game engine. So that's my thoughts on that. 